Staying with job creation, the Moon administration has drawn up a seven-point plan to further strengthen cooperation among central and provincial governments with the aim of boosting economic growth and, of course, creating more jobs. For details, let's turn to our Kim ji -yeon. Under the government's seven-point plan for balanced, innovative growth led by regional development, it wants to raise the competitiveness of traditionally vital industries that are facing challenges. This is to be reflected in the country's five-year developmental plan for balanced growth and will be announced by the end of this year, including a yearly evaluation of existing innovation-related state projects. The government also says it will promote inter-Korean business cooperation within the bounds of international sanctions placed on North Korea by setting up special economic zones for job creation. It looks to strengthen its initiative to develop broad inter-Korean economic belts called the New Economic Map to jointly develop the areas of energy and resources, industrial logistics and transportation, as well as environment and tourism. To improve the quality of life in the nation through various infrastructure projects, the government has increased next year's budget to around 7.9 billion U.S. dollars, a near $3 billion increase from this year. Such projects are aimed at promoting culture and physical health, local tourism, urban regeneration and smart farms, and lowering levels of fine dust. The government also vowed to carry out a series of measures, including $6 billion of support for small business owners and the self-employed, who are struggling to adjust to the sharp spikes in the minimum wage. Another goal is to revitalize farming and fishing villages suffering from a rapidly aging society by improving the residents' livelihoods as well as improving distribution channels for local organic foods. The sixth point in the government's seven-point plan is to promote the social economy sector by creating social value through economic activities based on communities and voluntary institutions, mostly made up of cooperatives, nonprofit associations and foundations through state funding. The final point of the government's plan is to increase consultative projects by facilitating communication channels among employers and employees to boost the number of quality jobs. Kim Jian, Arirang News.